Today I have uh, this uh, generator or alternator for a nanny uh, diesel marine engine but uh, it is also the same model as uh, on uh, Volvo Penta and, and so and uh, this uh, generator here uh, doesn't uh, generate any uh, current uh, at all um, the bulb uh, or the charging light is uh, on and uh, when it spins it uh, doesn't uh, generate uh, any uh, voltage to find the fault the first thing you must do is um, yeah flip it around here and uh, then uh, remove uh, the back plate here uh, you just take a um, yeah a ply or something and uh, then remove uh, the plastic uh, cover here it's just uh, this cover here uh, as you can see we have the B minus and the B plus and the, the W uh, which is uh, for the tachometer and then we have the D plus uh, which is uh, for the charging uh, bulb yeah you remove uh, this and uh, the first Thing you do is to check uh, the regulator uh, you can see it is attached uh, here with uh, two uh, cords here just remove them and then you can wiggle, wiggle this uh, thing here uh, out and um, then you can get to the the brushes and as you can see the brushes uh, looks pretty okay uh, they must uh, be uh, as minimum um, five millimeters. Uh, these uh, brushes here is uh, ten millimeters. So um, yeah, it seems like uh, the regulator is is okay. Uh, the regulator can uh, either charge too much or charge too less. But uh, in this case, it doesn't uh, charge uh, at all. So um, yeah, I don't think it is uh, the regulator, but uh, if everything seems to be uh, totally okay, then uh, it is uh, the regulator. But uh, until then, I will let it sit here. Um, yeah, then we have um, this uh, part here that is uh, called the diode bridge or the rectifier. Uh, you can uh, on solder the three wires here uh, and then you can remove uh, the diode bridge like that and uh, when you have uh, taken off the diode bridge you can then uh, make a measurement you then take your multimeter and then switching it to uh, ohms and um, I will put it on the setting 200 ohms then I just take my two uh, things here and uh, then I will uh, check the inner uh, core here and see how many ohms it, uh, it is. As you can see it is uh, 3.4 ohms and uh, it must be between 3 and uh, 5 ohms uh, to be okay. So uh, this inner core is uh, totally okay to check the rotor you must uh, make a measurement between one of the copper rings and the center of the the rotor and uh, there must not be uh, any uh, connection between which means uh, you take connect one of the things in the one of the ends and the other one here and uh, there must not be any connection as you can see so uh, the rotor here is uh, totally okay you will then uh, test the outer field field in the generator here it is uh, the three wires here and uh, to do that you just again switch your multimeter to a diode and then um, you just yeah look between uh, each uh, 
line here and as you can see there is a totally uh, good connection which means um, the coil here is uh, totally okay I can see if I can yeah as you can see there is a nice connection and again uh, there must not be any ground from the the coil here to uh, the body of the the generator here. As you can see, there is no, no ground. So uh, this coil is uh, working totally okay. I will now try to check the diode and see if uh, it is faulty or not. Uh, here we have um, the minus and the plus, and then we have the connection for the charging uh, bulb. And uh, on the other side we have uh, the connection, the three connections uh, to the, the coil here. And uh, you must uh, measure between um, the three uh, points here and uh, one of the three uh, connections here. But uh, yeah, I will try to check the first uh, diode, uh, which means it is uh, the plus, the, um, I think it is uh, B plus. I will try to check first. You first uh, connect the black one to the plus side here and then you uh, look and uh, underneath here and take a measurement and you can see it is 500 and the next one is uh, 502 and the third one is uh, yeah 504 three and uh, they must be about uh, around uh, 450 to uh, 650 uh, uh, millivolts so um, this diode is uh, fine uh, this way um, on every diode you must uh, switch around to see if um, the, yeah the current uh, will run the other way around so um, yeah it is switched around and then I will take a measurement again, no reading, measurement again, no reading, and a measurement again, there is no reading. So um, this diode here is uh, totally okay. Then I will uh, take the other one here and uh, it is uh, of course checked on the same way where you start with the black to uh, this uh, B uh, or D plus uh, and then I will take a measurement again it should be around 450 to 650 and the first measurement the second measurement and the third measurement it also looks totally okay then I turn around the sticks again and then I take a measurement again yeah looks fine second looks fine third looks totally fine and um, yeah these uh, two diodes here is totally okay then I will uh, check the minus uh, diode the B minus and uh, it is red to uh, the minus and then I will uh, take the measurements first diode 502 looks great and then we have zero hmm and uh, the third also look good so um, yeah we have a short on the second uh, diode here so um, yeah the minus uh, side here is uh, the fault in the generator. I'll then try to switch them around. Take a measurement again. Yeah, no reading. The first one. Yeah, and as you can see, there is a reading on number two, which means uh, the power is going both ways, and the diode is then uh, faulty. And I uh, think. Take number three, there is also no reading. So, 
that means that the fault in the generator is uh, simply this uh, diode here.